Welcome to another Living SA TV video, David here. Today, we will talk about the history behind the official restaurant of the South African family, aka Spur. Don't you believe me? Stay tuned because once again, this video will blow your mind. In 1967, founder and executive chairman Alan Amber opened the Gold Spur on Dean Street in Newlands, Cape Town. Amber began his first restaurant with 2,000 rand of his own money, 4,000 from his father and an extra 5,000 from a partner who has subsequently bought out, totaling 11,000 rand. The restaurant first opened its doors on October the 24th 1967. In the 2000s, the original restaurant relocated to a new location on the junction of Dean and Main Road before closing in 2020. Soon after the 1967 opening, a second spur, the Seven Spur, was built near Seapoint, Cape Town. Following the success of the second spur, Amber decided to go with the franchise model to help the restaurant proliferate across South Africa. Spur Corporation, doing business as Spur Steak Ranches, was JSC listed in 1986 for the first time on the leisure sector. In 1999, the firm underwent a substantial restructuring, which led in the formation and listing of Spur Corporation as we know it today. Spur International, Spur Steak Ranches, Panarotti's Pizza Pasta, John Dory's Fish Grill Sushi, the Hussar Grill, Rocco Mamas, Spurred Grill and Go, and Casabella are all part of the Spurred Group. Spurred is a success story nowadays, with more than 600 stores worldwide. Ellen is the only child of a Jew-German immigrant family who fled from Germany during the Second World War. They basically run for their lives to come to South Africa. Ellen was raised in Johannesburg. Today, Ellen has a fortune of approximately $8 million. This fortune was acquired by selling his shares at Spur Group for 100 million rand in 2017 when he stepped down as a CEO of the group with 70 years old. Ellen is today 78 years old. Ellen also has launched his uh, book uh, to basically to tell the story of his life and behind Spur. And this is the book. If you guys are interested, go ahead and buy it. The late George Senior Alamanders, also known as Uncle George, brought new ideas to South Africa regarding steakhouses. He was also Ellen's mentor. Cut the long story short. George later opened Steers and the group Famous Brands, and Ellen created Spur Corporation. Ellen presently lives in Cape Town and he is a yoga practitioner and a teacher. You can follow him on Instagram in this link. Curiosities from Spur Spur was profitable from the start. At the time, there was nothing like it in South Africa. Ellen Amber, the co founder of Spurs, paid for his studies by working in a steakhouse in Johannesburg. And that led to his future venture that is known today as Spur. Why the American Red Indian as a logo? First reason, in the 1960s and 1970s, the cowboy movies were very popular, especially the ones with Clint Eastwood. Second, gave an American look to the restaurant and third, the logo gave a feeling to South Africans that was a restaurant for everyone independently of their ethnics or religion. Spurred locations Botswana, Ethiopia, Kenya, Lesotho, Malawi, Namibia, Nigeria, South Africa, Swaziland, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, Mauritius, Australia and New Zealand. And there you go guys, this was a short story about another successful South African company. We don't like the branding, but we sure love their burgers and the white sauce. The branding will not change as per Alan Amber. Uh, don't do it because Coca-Cola did it and uh, it was a total disaster. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, there are many more to come. 
um, don't forget to subscribe, share and destroy that like button and I'll see you in the next Living in SATV video.